to another My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are back yet again with another ranking style video. And uh, look at this right here. I, I, you see this piece of ish right here on my face? What is that? Get that off. Shouldn't be there. Anyways, today, guys, we're back again with another Elite Style ranking. And uh, it's a big one because we're going to be uh, going through every single WWE Elite figure. Like, this is the beginning of an epic ranking series where we're going to go through every single Elite series and rank every single figure. And I'm going to do it in groups of five. So we're going to go 1 through 5, 6 through 10, 11 through 15, so on and so forth until we get up to, I guess, current day. And by the time we get there, it'll probably be Elite 100 because I don't plan on, you know, pumping these out every other day or something. I plan on spacing them out at least a week apart, right? I mean, so yeah, that's, plan that's pretty much what I plan on doing. We're going to start with Elite Series 1 through 5 today, guys, and it should be pretty epic. So let's break down our tier list, shall we? Let's get into it. At the top, we have Go Buy It. If I put a figure in the Go Buy It section, it means that I pretty much endorse the figure, like, you should add it to your collection. I think it would go great in any collection is the Go Buy It. It's really fun figure, great figure overall. Good figure means that it's, you know, it's one step below that. It's a really good figure. I don't think it's just must have, but it's really good. You have Meh, which is just like, yeah, it's not god awful. It's not the greatest. It's just in the middle. It's like, yeah, it's not terrible. It's, it's just meh. Next up, we have Barely Acceptable, which means one thing. Barely Acceptable means you are literally like a head sculpt, an accessory, one redeeming quality, keeping you out of the garbage and at the bottom you don't want to be in the bottom garbage the bottom is garbage you don't want to be in the garbage all right guys so let's go ahead and dive into it i don't know what the the order is here i'm just going to name them off as we go through let's shut the hell up and get started shall we starting things off elite one mvp i'm gonna go good figure i don't think it's just must have i think you know we are getting elite 88 mvp very soon i think that one's go buy it if anything i mean if you want a flashback mvp between this and the elite nine i think i like the elite nine a little bit better so i'm gonna put elite one mvp in good figure next up is elite three miz this is meh okay there's a lot of reasons why this is meh and it could go lower to be honest with you because i hate this leg mold the leg mold they gave him man this is to be fair this is in the early days of mattel you know this is like three series in so there's a lot of nits and picks about these figures where it's just like and eh, there's there's a bunch you know like loose joints or like a figure part here maybe they've changed it since then this shorts mold that they continue to give john cena to this day to be fair but i have this figure and i i thought the, the miz looked like an idiot the head sculpt's not that good i never liked this and i don't know he just it's just unless you're just the biggest miz fan ever or you're trying to complete your you know early on mattel collection man i would just skip right over this next up is elite 3 hbk and for me this is good figure i think it's good i don't think it's go buy it worthy if you can even find it i mean this figure right here is super rare especially like mock bro if you want this figure mock good luck that's what i got want it mock good luck Next up, guys, we have Elite 3 Santino. This one's meh again. I think, you know, I'm not the biggest Santino fan. I, I I think that it's not a bad figure. The head sculpt's okay. He had another figure down the line. I can't remember. It's like Elite 10 or something like that. We'll get into it eventually in this series. But for me, it's just meh. Like, why'd they make Santino so early? I, I don't freaking know. I guess, the, you know, they're just like, here, here's Santino. So here we are. I'm putting him in meh for now. And uh, yeah. Next up is Elite 3 John Cena. This is a good figure. Uh, he also came with his shirts. So we also got a claw shirt. This is a full straight up just John Cena Elite. And actually his ankles aren't as loose as other figures for whatever reason. The Elite 3 actually has stronger ankles, at least in my opinion. I've owned this figure a lot. I have a bunch of this figure. And it just seems that his ankles are a lot better. But I'm going to put it in good figure. I actually like the head sculpt. I like the torso and everything like that. I, I like everything about it, really. But I don't think I would say go buy it. Next up is Elite 1 CM Punk. And this head sculpt's not good, okay? It's not a good head sculpt. It's just not. It is an early on CM Punk. I do like the cloth t-shirt. Huh. I don't know if we have our first go buy it or not. I'm going to put it in good figure for now. I'm going to put it in good figure. I do like it more than these. I put John Cena up here as well. Just that head sculpt, man. You know, I mean, there's better CM Punk head sculpts out there. There's better CM Punk elites, but I do like this attire and the shirt and everything. It's a, it's a solid figure. Next up is Elite 3 Cody Rhodes. I'm going to put this in barely acceptable. Uh, I don't really like the formula they use. The head sculpt's not the greatest. The attire is not the greatest. It's just, you know, I don't know, 
man. Elite 3 Cody is just not one of those figures I enjoy. It just does not, there's not a single reason you should search this out. At the time, it was the first Cody, you know, you're just trying, you know, you want Cody Rose in your collection, whatever. This is barely acceptable for me. Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler. I love this figure, man. I think this is go buy it worthy. Um, it's a really early on Dolph Ziggler. The head sculpt's not the best. A lot of figures around this time didn't really have the best head sculpt, so I don't want to, you know, dock a figure so, so much on the head sculpt. But, you know, this is, uh, I actually like this figure a lot. You get the, you know, the nice vest that's not rubber. You get the cheetah print attire, the DZ. It's a nice figure. It's dope. I, I like the Dolph Ziggler a lot. Really good formula on that guy. Poses around well. Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler. Elite 4 Kane is a go buy it. Really love this. It is a perfect Ruthless Aggression era Kane. Uh, he does have, like, the goofy head sculpt. You could switch it out for a serious face. You could track down a basic or whatever. This is a really good figure overall. I like the chains. It's a really great figure, man. If you if you want a Kane from, like, 2003 plus or late 2003 plus, you know, through your Ruthless Aggression, this Kane is perfect for that, man. That's an absolute buy right there. Next up, guys, is Elite 2 Triple H. Great t-shirt. Good accessories. I'm gonna go good figure. I'm not gonna say go buy it. It was an atrocious head sculpt. Again, man, I mean, every figure on this list is kind of atrocious as far as head sculpts are concerned, but I still like the figure. It was actually one of the first Mattel Elites that I ever got, and I immediately did a head swap with that good Battle Pack Serious head sculpt that I still use in my collection today because it's that damn good, and it makes for a beautiful staple Triple H, but the head sculpt it comes with is just eh. That's why I didn't dock it too much. I put it in good figure because the head sculpt for the time, you know, it was still god awful, but it was, you know, it was, it was early. Next up is Elite 2 Batista. Now, this is go buy it, bro. I love Batista, and his figures are super rare and they're super hard to come by but even at the time even today this figure slaps titties his ankles get a little bit loose i don't know if that's just me but i've owned this figure two or three times and every time i get it the ankles are loose man but it's a great figure overall man it's it's a go buy it i love batista i'm endorsing that figure next up is elite three christian and i would say i'd say good figure i think i think i want to go good figure because he comes with the jumpsuit bro if you can find this figure with the jumpsuit it's an instant buy i don't know if you're gonna be able to do that though but the jumpsuit that this thing comes with is sick as hell. That track suit or jumpsuit, whatever you want to call it, it slaps. Uh, of course, I'd say get the fan takeover before this figure, which is why it's not go buy it. But if you find the jumpsuit separately, go buy the jumpsuit and then put it on your fan central figure or your fan takeover figure. Next up, guys, is Elite One Edge. This one's meh, okay? It's not the greatest attire. It's black and silver. It's like the, the worst version of the ringside exclusive that we just got, the three-in-one edge heads. It's just not that great of a figure, really. Um, at the time, I guess it was it was solid, but it's just meh at this point, at this stage. And I can't rank stuff back from, you know, I can't look at it from a 2010 perspective because I wasn't collecting at that time. So it's like, I don't know, man, I'm going meh on it. I'm trying to look at it through the eyes of today and if you guys should track these down for your collection today. Next up, guys, is Rey Mysterio Elite One. This, oh, man, this one gets me fired the hell up. This one, I don't know if I want to put it in Barely Acceptable or Garbage because I own this figure. First of all, I have Bone Foot a bum foot Mysterio, and then I have a regular one, and I hate it. Like, I'm putting it in the garbage. I'm putting it in the garbage, man. It's infuriating. It's one of those figures that looks so good. The accessories are cool. The legs are god-awful. They're god-awful. They're god-awful. They're god-awful. You know what? The second one right here, Elite 5, garbage. Garbage. You can't even move the legs, at least in my personal view. The figures look bomb. Rey Mysterio figures are really fun to collect, but they're both going in the garbage because I can't even move their legs, man. Moving on up, guys. Guys, we have Elite 2 Our truth and this is actually a solid figure. Just, like, I, the head sculpt doesn't really look like Our truth The uh, cloth shirt it comes with is really badass. And, I mean, it poses around decent, I guess, but, you know, the Elite 78 Our truth is really good. If you replace his feet with, like, Battle Pack Uso's feet, that figure's, like, perfect for Our truth I'm gonna put this one in meh. Even though I like Our truth I like the cloth accessory, I'm gonna go meh. I, I, yeah, I just don't think it's needed. I, I mean, the only way, reason you would buy this figure is for the cloth shirt, and then you'd put it on your No Way Jose. I mean, that's that's what I did, and I bought it for Hardy Elites way back in the day. Still own those, by God. Next up, guys, is Matt Hardy, Elite Number 2 Matt Hardy. This one, huh, really good cloth accessory jacket. Head sculpt's okay for the time. It's pretty much the FYE 2-pack figure head. Uh, the attire's just, eh, I, I mean, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say it's meh, I guess. I really, Again, I really love the cloth accessory. That's probably the only reason you track it down. I don't know why you would want this version of Matt Hardy, though, you know? I just can't see, like, it's not a bad figure. It's just, it's just middle road. I think it's middle road. I'm not gonna go any for there. Next up, guys, is the 
The Big Show. Now, I think this is the Big Show that came with both. I didn't really mean to put him in Barely Acceptable. This is the Big Show that came with both the, you know, the Unified World Tag Team Championships. And for a while, that was the only way you could even get this figure. But I'm going to put it in matte. It just doesn't really do anything for me. I'm actually, I'm going to put it in Barely Acceptable where it originally stayed, right? I mean, it's 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 barely acceptable. It's not, it, the head sculpt's not that good. It's just that I don't like really the cloth singlet. I, I don't know, man. I'm going to go Barely Acceptable for now. We could change it. We could do things. I'm going to leave it there. We'll see where it goes from there. Next up is Kofi Kingston. This one is a good figure, man. This is a really good figure. Uh, the pants were a little bit baggy. It is actually a better figure than the Decade of Domination figure. T Ten years later, this figure is better than that one. Uh, I like the torso that they use for this, even though at the time, like, they don't even use this torso anymore. That's how ancient it is. They've never used this torso again. They used it on two Kofis, I think. After that, they said, F this torso, Brad. They gave him his own torso, which the one that they use now is probably more accurate, but not using it for Cedric, not using it for other guys. It's very upsetting. I'm going to put it in good figure because it is a really good figure, even though the pants are a little bit baggy. I like the head sculpt. It's a good figure. Next up is Chris Jericho Elite 4. Huh. I think I think this is a good figure. I don't know if I want to put it in good figure, though. Uh, I'm going to put it in meh. Actually, no. Bro. Oh, okay. I kind of paused for a second. I'm going to put it in good figure. When I put this Chris Jericho up here, bro, I thought this HBK was Elite 3 Miz. And I was like, why the hell is Elite 3 Miz in the good figure category? About cross the damn line, Brad. Next up is John Morrison Elite 4. I think we all know where this is going, Brad. Let's go buy it. That's, that's up there, man. That is definitely up there. I mean, you could probably... Uh, these are pretty much interchangeable, but Elite Four John Morrison is one of the best figures they've ever made to date, probably. The the cloth of the jacket is great. I still like the head sculpt. The attire, the formula is like perfect head to toe. Really love the, the, the jacket or the coat or whatever you want to call it, the entrance coat. Just a beautiful specimen of a figure, and it holds up to this day 10 years later, so I think that is really the essence of a go-buy-it figure, man. When you look back this early and you have a figure that you would still say is damn good, it's got to be go-buy-it, right? Next up's Mark Henry. This is garbage. I love Mark Henry. I think he's a fantastic talent. Uh, his figures are just impossible to pose around. The ankles get super loose. He's knocked over my collection like 76 times, especially early on in my collection when I had him in a different way of setting up. I love Mark Henry. His figures just make me sad to collect, man, because his legs can't move. They're like all crickety, and they're like looking like the damn, I don't, I don't know, man. They don't look good up there, and they're falling over, and they can't pose around, and they're just, they feel like they're gonna snap in half. Gotta go garbage. It hurts me to say. Next up is Jack Swagger. This is garbage, okay? I don't like the cloth singlet. I don't think this looks like Jack Swagger, to be honest with you. It's kind of a boring attire as well. He had much better figures later down the line. Uh, his WrestleMania figure was great. His Elite 26 figure was great. His AEW figure we're about to get is going to be probably great. So I got to put this in the garbage. It's just not a figure that I would recommend whatsoever, man. Not, not really even any redeeming qualities about that one. Next up is Ted DiBiase. I'm going to go, he's going to join his tag team partner, Cody. Rhodes right here because I'd say barely acceptable. I think at the time it was actually a solid head sculpt. Um, he came with the million dollar championship. He came with a money in the bank briefcase I think or like a little briefcase. Not the money in the bank briefcase. You know what I meant. Uh, he also had like a Chase variant version that had like pink tights right or green tights or was that am I thinking the Elite 10? That may be the Elite 10 but this figure is barely acceptable. It's just this close to being in the garbage. Next up is going to be Elite 5 Kozlov and this one huh? I'm going to go good figure. I actually like the build. Like this is a good formula, man. You know when you look back on figures and you're like, damn, what were they thinking on this formula? This is one of those figures that I'm like, I, 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 I see what you were saying, man. I see where you were going with this one. I'm not going to trash it too bad. I like this figure. I think it's a good figure overall. I, I would actually own this. If I got a chance to own it, I would own it. Next up is Elite One Undertaker. This one's meh for me, you know. I like the neck down. I hate the rubber trench coat. It was Elite One, to be fair with you. The head sculpt's not very good, but I'd say meh because I think overall, I like the posability is not bad on it. It's just kind of plain Jane, you know, nothing too crazy going on with it, but I'm going to put it in meh for now, and uh, we'll see where we stand. Next up is Chavo Guerrero, and this one is a good figure. I think this is another good figure. I mean, it's borderline go buy it. It's it's very rare because it's the only Elite Chavo Guerrero they ever made. It would go great with your Legends Eddie Guerrero also. We haven't had a Chavo since. I would really like to see another Chavo. That's borderline go buy it, man. That's like right up there. It is super rare. If you wanted to go buy it, I would say go buy it. I think it's good enough to go and go buy it, but I'm not going to say go buy it. I'm not going to put it up there in the Undisputed Collection, even though it is the only Chavo Guerrero. You know what? Go buy it. Go buy it. Go buy it. It's the only Chavo 
Chavo Guerrero Elite there is. I mean, you might as well go add it to the collection. You can use other figures, but you gotta get that head sculpt, so, I mean, at the end of the day, man, I think the Chavo is a go buy it, but that pretty much wraps up our Elite Series 1 through 5 ranking. Uh, I'm very satisfied with this go buy it. I think the good figure is solid. Like, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this list right here, man. I think this is pretty much a good embodiment of Elite Series 1 through 5. Go buy it. You know, good figures, listing, all of that. Uh, this top tier right here is pretty accurate. Uh, these are pretty accurate. Maybe, you know, they could go up and down and going around. The garbage is uh, exceptional. I mean, I, I agree with this wholeheartedly. I don't know. I think we're pretty fair in our assessment. I think this is pretty good. You guys can let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. Before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. This shout-out is going to go to Jen Lawrence, who says, like I said before, Mattel needs to drop a Jeff Hardy series where they release a four-pack or whatever their limit is, Jeff Hardy Elites. That would be insane. That would be amazing. You know, it'd be kind of like that Rey Mysterio basic pack that was like, what, Toys R Us exclusive or something? They did it with The Undertaker. Uh, they may have done it with a couple of other people, but I know they've done it with those two. I see what you're saying. I think that'd be really cool, but I wouldn't want basics. I'd want Elites like you said. I think that would be really sick ass. Maybe I could do like a fantasy like four packs or something, but that would be dope. Do one like Brood Hardys a look, and then Hardy Boys, Team Extreme a look, and then a singles version, and then like a current day Hardy. That would be super badass. That is something that I would purchase immediately. Imagine the fix-ups and the craziness you could do. That would be absolutely epic, but a huge shout-out to Jen Lawrence for that comment, man. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I need somebody to design some merch. Would you guys purchase some merch if I drop some MDT merch? This isn't MDT merch, but how sick would that be? I think it'd be dope, like a hoodie and maybe a t-shirt or a long sleeve tee or something like that. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below, but ranking Elite Series 1 through 5, there it is. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the ranking. Shout out to Jen, and uh, don't cross the line like the, 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 the figures in the garbage down here. Don't be garbage. You cross the line, I've been beaten, broken down.